spaces are well distributed, well connected. The SUDD campus is very open and transparent. I pass this spot a dozen of times a day. Sometimes I would stop for a moment to enjoy the view. The atmosphere here is peaceful, with green pockets of trees and flowering plants dotted around the campus. The blocks are oriented in favor of the prevailing winds, allowing them to be well ventilated and passively cooled. This is where I work and live. My name is Carlos Bañón. I am an architect, professor, technologist, and father. I always imagined living in a limitless space where I could create without any constraints. The opportunity came for me to join SUTD, a new and innovative school driven by design and technology. I remember my young professor's passion in teaching. They opened my eyes to see what architecture can be. We were educated through a pioneering curriculum where no project briefs were given to us. How do we begin? The answer eventually became clear. Begin anywhere. I never taught my students how to design a specific object or space. I prefer to explore systems, their possibilities and degrees of adaptation. With this mindset, the same idea can then be applied across any scales and contexts. ERLAB, which stands for Architectural Intelligence Research Lab, is a multidisciplinary space where architecture intersects science, technology, and arts. In ERLAB, we create products, systems, and spaces that aim to increase sustainability. My practice and teaching reinforce each other, flowing naturally together. We work with companies like D.B. Schenker, helping them with their upcycling initiatives. To design for a circular economy, we need a shared value in creation. Together with the employees, we are assembling an entire space made out of scrapped packaging. Sharing about the life cycle of the materials help us create awareness between the users the objects and our environment. Design shapes how we experience our world. When designing, I like to learn from the most fundamental fabrication processes in order to push their boundaries. Places like Refined are unique. You can experience firsthand the fragile glass bottle transformed into a malleable and soft body. With mastery, glass can take shape to wherever your imagination can bring it. No outcome is exactly the same. Every piece is unique and remarkable in itself. Similarly, design teaching is not a linear process. It takes lots of practice, experimentation, and getting to work with different students, molding them, bringing out the best in them. Once a product of gentrification, the Hawker Center is a curation of different cuisines housed under one roof. Lo Passat is the oldest marketplace from the colonial period. In the evenings, tables and chairs take over the road, creating one of the most vibrant public spaces in the city. My students and I had the chance to make use of technology to preserve the collective memory of this place. Using 3D scanning, the volumes, textures, and the interactions of people with the spaces were captured. The data will be available to guide future generations to imagine a more productive and sustainable hawker sector. Starting a new project is like venturing into the unknown. I tell my students to always bring an optimistic vision and a willingness to take risks. I learn a lot by observing my son play. I see his personality developing, his abilities and preferences. Children are naturally creative in their own ways. I strive to create opportunities to bring out the best of my child, guiding him every step he takes while still giving him plenty of room to experiment and fail. My first year students are like my newborns. 
Like how I guide my son, I build upon the strength of each student, helping them develop their own design identity. Gardens by the Bay is an inspiration to me. I resonate with its ethos. I believe that a density can also be a beautiful garden. What exceeds expectations is how it reimagines structures, combines technology and upholds the values of sustainability. I imagine how wonderful it would be to contribute my work to this landmark I respect immensely. That dream came true with Hermes, a pavilion nested amongst green spaces. I set out to create an ethereal atmosphere for visitors by highlighting selected vista points within the garden. The pavilion has to be structurally and visually light. This is made possible with 3D printing technology. I see the boundaries in architecture expanding. Technology is changing the discipline as we know it. The future belongs to those who dare to dream and have the courage to act on it. Will you join me?